Whoa. Okay, so it is kind of a switcheroonie here. Uh, Laura for Crimson. Moving away from the Seth nameplate, but it is Sheldon that's using Seth instead. Starting off with a fat V-Skill 1. Dash forward. Got that Oki. Ooh, okay. Eats the jump in, though. Hard knockdown. Oh. Jump ins all day long here. Working out for Crimson. Sheldon trying to back things up to the neutral here. Ooh, but punish there on the blocked V-Skill. Activation. Oh, this is V-Trigger 1. Yes, okay. Oh, a little too far away for the counter conversion there, but here comes random EX hands. No V-Trigger convention, though, notably. Hmm, got that suck. Yes, installer. Whoa, that's not a combo. Okay. Perhaps not the kill that Sheldon was looking for, and will they live to regret it? Oh, blocks the overhead. Okay. Jabs for the finish. Nice punish there from Sheldon. Mmm, yes. More good round start suck. Oh, but no. The jump ins. Denying the second one. Oh, overhead blocking was good up until now, but eating one here. Nice activation sequence here, though. Well, kind of. Back throw into the corner. Hmm, yes. Dragon Punch with the V-Trigger extensions. Lots of damage. What? Okay, yes. That was the uh, Season 5.5 buffs there. And is this going to kill? This is the V-Trigger 1 extension, or er, powered up version, right? Oh, not quite dead. Crimson left with a sliver of life here. But they do have almost full resources. And Sheldon. Whoa, just gets another random suck. All right. Game one, going to Sheldon and Seth. Do I have the names backwards here? I hope not. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Crimson is definitely getting the best of the first 10 seconds here. But a nice little walk under there. And Sheldon uses that V skill. Gives up the install, but nice little combo extension. Or, excuse me, gives up the install. Oh, spamming that, though. Definitely going to get you jumped in on. Loki command grab. Has to take the throw. Sheldon falls to Crimson 48 in round one of game two. Laura just seems like they need to get their maul on a little bit, you know? Mm, okay, nice back throw. Punish. But not quite able to capitalize on the plus frames. Ooh. Nice Tatsu conversion off the light kick. Random EX hands. Not going to work out, though. Mmm, crush. Nice little V-shift. Probably means no V-trigger for Sheldon, but the EXDP does beat Fireballs clean. Ooh. Crimson 48 with that V-trigger. Almost certainly looking for an opportunity to activate. Here it comes. Oh. Okay, cross-up jump. Kind of allows Sheldon to avoid a bit of that pressure, and did I say that they had no activation? I totally lied to you. Set point now for the big red van. I mean, it's not that big compared to, like, the actual big red man, Zanki. What? Punish! Hmm. Plus two, command grab. Anti-airs from Sheldon, though. Allowing them to regain pressure on their side. No, it is going to be the neutral interaction that goes to Crimson48 busting out with the EXDP. What? Oh, okay. Whoa, crosscut DP. Lovely. Mm. Crimson48, though, managing to pick up the game for the set evener here. One apiece now. Okay, character select. 
Curious if that's just for a breather or if we're going to something else. Ah, it is a new character. Akuma. You go 1v2-1? Okay. So. Probably definitely a little more comfortable with the bread and butters of the main character. Wow, really? Back heavy punch, anti-airs into the sweep. Hmm. Okay. Nice little crush counter. Confirm with the stand heavy punch. Target combo. Oh, and the light red fireball into the uh, sweep does mean death for poor Laura here. Game one of round three. Or excuse me, round one of game three going to Sheldon. Whoa. Plus Ramp City here for Laura. Wow! But a trade double back heavy punch conversion here for Akuma. Busting out against the Plus Rams. Did not want to take the side switch. Mix up. Ooh, nice little trade uh, there for Laura. You know, it wasn't the hard knockdown they're looking for, but the damage was in their favor. And that anti air is definitely in their favor. BT1 here, though. Looking to possibly do some work for Akuma. There goes the last of it. Back thrown out of their setup, though. Unfortunate. Take these plus streams. Death for Akuma. And now double set point. Who's going to take it? Okay, full meter here for Akuma. There goes one bar for Laura, willing to spend it fast and early. What the? Okay. Plus flames back thrown into the corner. Baited at the throw. Here comes one bar. Here comes another bar. Massive damage for Akuma in the corner. Demon flip mix-ups now. Mmm! And I think that was intended to be an anti-air from Crimson, but I think they're going to pay for it with their lives. Unfortunate. 2-1 here for Akuma. Blowing up poor old Laura with the double EX bar explosiveness of EX Red Fireball. Everyone loves to see it. Well, I mean, Akuma players love to see 